Well, I noticed that uh, there is an, an ebullience at the, the huge amount of demand that came for this issuance as well. I'll be honest with you, though, sir, from a buyer's point of view, why am I buying such a vast amount? And I know you had massive uh, uh, investor appetite. Why are they buying this stuff at negative yields? Well, I think uh, it's a confirmation and acknowledgement of uh, the fact that uh, euro bonds are absolutely safe asset in, in times like this. I think this is absolutely an asset and this is uh, acknowledged uh, by the markets. And again, yesterday we had the third issuance of our sure bonds and uh, the over subscription was again, I think, more than 12 times. And this is again an excellent uh, sign and signal. And uh, I think it's also linked to the fact that we are issuing social bonds where there's a huge uh, demand uh, at, the, at the market. And finally, we will triple the, mark, the global market of social bonds. So I think this is also something which has uh, further supported uh, uh, this performance. And, and of course, just from a purely technical point of view, this is start of a, a process as well, Commissioner Hahn, as well. Uh, do you anticipate getting such favourable yields going forward if indeed we see uh, some form of economic recovery? Or, or will Madame Lagarde over at the ECB in Frankfurt actually uh, quell the appetite for negative yielding assets? Well, um, I think uh, that's the case. And of course, uh, we have now issued altogether almost 40 billions. And um, um, I think the oversubscription, I don't know how many times it was. And uh, we will continue to do so in the, in the spring. And this is, so to say, the beginning of a bigger, uh, bigger issuance uh, um, activity when we will activate, uh, so to say, the, the big uh, chunk, which is the next generation EU, where 30% of the bonds will be green bonds. And I think all this will certainly um, contribute to this uh, um, excellent performance of uh, European bonds. Commissioner, to what extent um, did you get questions by prospective buyers about the uh, lender of last resort here, given that the budget at the moment is mired in all sorts of uh, political disagreements? Um, were any of those who were willing to buy these bonds concerned that there seemed to be an impasse over the uh, body's budget going forward? No, because um, buyers are usually um, um, well informed about, um, for instance, the European institution, otherwise they wouldn't invest. And um, if you are um, so to say, familiar with the European Union, you know that this is... Uh, almost an, a usual situation. Uh, of course, we have to deal with it. It's uh, serious, but I'm uh, certainly, uh, I'm sure that we will indeed overcome like we, will, we are doing this always. Uh, at the end of the day, there will be a compromise and I have uh, um, no doubts that uh, finally we have uh, the agreement about the MFF, the multi-annual financial framework, which by the way is another uh, reassurance about the quality of our uh, sound financial management because we are the only political bloc in the world having a seven years um, framework budget and uh, uh, embedded into this we have next generation EU so I think uh, this will also be a very strong signal to the markets.